Welcome back to the Marvelous Realms. Last episode we've built the parking lot and the entrance and needless to say a lot has changed in the steampunk realm of Lundway. But first we should take a look at the new cars that have arrived to the realms from the people who commented on the last episode. We've got Dan's car park for Dad's theme park, behind it we have Kev's beer van and Rat Pit's Ratmobile, we also have Bentoka's Bentomobile, Pixel's car, EIQ's A Sprite car, an old Citroen C2 for CHCH, and finally, my personal favorite, .NET Slime Taxi. If you'd like to have a custom car, make sure to tell me in the comments or on my Discord server and be quick, because this is the last episode I'll be accepting new cars on. Now let's get to the meat of this episode. The entire left part of Lundway is now finished. In it, guests are invited to take part in the Lundwayan way of life to begin their day in the marvelous realms properly. The inhabitants of Lundway are very curious and inventive people, and with the Explorer Society funding their projects, they have created all sorts of wonderful steam-powered inventions. Lundwayans usually start their day by getting a coffee at the fueling station, a custom Street Fox coffee with a view on the morning test of the newest innovation in the city, the Heli Gliders. Fueling station has a mix of tables that are both usable and unusable by guests to sell that illusion of them being able to use every seat. The fake tables are made using the tree guard and the stools are using that same piece with a levery looking circle on top. As I will always say, remember to hide the Blanco assets in your shops, especially in a theme where they do not belong like the Steampunk theme. There we go. We even have custom machines serving coffee now. Fueling Station is located to the opposite of the gift shop Visionary Gear, which I've modified a little bit since the last episode to give it a sign and center its exit with the entrance of the Fueling Station. If we go further down this street, you will find the Lundway in Customs because they love to travel a lot in order to explore the other realms. Indeed, this will be the portal to a new realm sometime in the future, so make sure not to bring undeclared goods from there. Otherwise, this custom steampunk police car will chase you around the city. The end of this street is also the perfect way to look at the first drop of Heli Gliders and the Lighthouse of the Arbor, which also serves as a control tower for air traffic in Lundway because multitasking. This building is a modified version of this control tower from the cancel project that inspired the area, and I mean, come on, it's so cool, I had to reuse it somewhere. We can also see a glimpse of a construction site going on in the background behind fueling station. I think we'll see more of that a little later. For now, let's head back to the entrance plaza of Lundway, where a fire truck is parked near the assembly line in case something goes wrong. Guests can also leave their belongings in lockers with our rental system, which is totally usable by them thanks to this custom ATM that I'd made for Moomin and Maddie's ATM contest last year. The lockers are simple equipment boxes from the studio spec. I still think they're the best looking locker effect we can achieve on Planet Coaster Console Edition. At the center of the plaza, we see a little fountain with coins at the bottom and benches hidden inside so that the guests will sit on the edges of the fountain just like they would in real life. Remember, maximize guest interactions. That's what will make your park feel alive. Now, of course, we've got to talk about the elephant in the park, and that's Heli Gliders and its queue. And we'll get there once we've seen the other plaza on the other side of this building, where we can find Papa Corns, a reimagined version of Papa Corns Mill in my cancelled version of Lundway. I always thought it to be really funny to have a massive steampunk machine to make popcorn, and whether you're divided between salty and sweet doesn't matter, because you can get both here. It's also the perfect opportunity to show you my custom popcorn bags made using four long drapes colored accordingly to match the item the guests have in their hands when buying popcorn. This plaza is also overlooked by the Belfry, a new restaurant where guests can eat and drink steampunk-inspired meals and beverages while having a beautiful view of heli gliders. Yes, this is somewhat inspired by a certain restaurant I love in Vintagelands Rookberg. For the terrace, I used the same tree guard as the one I used in the fueling station earlier, but placed it lower at the same height as the Sedgwick Hotel chairs from the Ghostbusters pack. Little tip for people who can't use custom media like the console player that I am, you can make custom menus or info boards by syncing traffic signs in a board like this. Belfries have always been a big part of my life since I live in the Flanders region of France where every big city has a belfry so it was nice to incorporate one in one of my builds to honor the north of France. Under this terrace we have yet another portal themed to a subrail station, Lundway's equivalent of a metro that will guide guests to what will be another area coming in the future. This is an area I want to explore at the very end of the series as a sort of big series finale with projects that are extremely dear to my heart. This place is not just a portal, since it also shelters a shiny new custom toilet. 
I wanted to take things further with this one, as it is an important place with a lot of traffic which requires more capacity for pee pee and poo poo, especially since I want to make all of our toilets gender neutral. On the left we have six stalls and on the right we have six urinals with one that's been lowered for the children to use. The two sides are separated by a wall with sinks and mirrors and of course we have hand dryers on either end of the room for everyone to use. Right, now it's time to get to heli gliders. The building that is in the center of our entire area acts as some sort of headquarters for the Explorer Society. They even have an observatory sticking out of their roof. Heligliders is a Maurer spinning coaster, so it's definitely accessible for accompanied children, but if you are over 195 centimeters tall, that's 6'4 for you using the Imperial system out there, you will not be able to ride. In order to see whether you fit, we even have a test seat on the left of the entrance. How did I make this? I'm so glad you asked. It's very simple. I've hidden a second coaster with a replica of the cars from the real heligliders and made it stop at this exact location in test mode so that it would look like a test seat. Pretty neat, huh? And the best part is you can do this in regular planet coaster with most coasters that have their track underneath the car. I haven't tested it with inverts or wing models yet so I can't tell you if it also works but I'm sure we could figure something out to make these work. Let's get inside the building now, okay? The whole storyline behind Heligliders is that the guests want to become test pilots for this new Lundwayan innovation. For that, they have an appointment with the captain of this operation. Up they go to get to the captain's office, and on their way there, they have a view on what is pretty much nothing right now, but that nothing will become a Heidi-themed Gerslauer Skyfly that will wrap up the area in the next episode. Then they get a view of the plaza with the Belfry and Papa Corns. This view has a nice interaction with the coaster itself as it comes right past the window and this bridge which leads them to the captain's office. It's a simple scene to occupy our guests while they wait. We can imagine the animatronic having voice lines like What makes you want to become a heliglider pilot? Or Welcome to the heligliders. I've incorporated a gramophone in our scenery. I created it for a cancelled project but it found a new home in our steampunk realm. Out of the office, we now have a much better view of the construction site we caught a glimpse of near the Lundway and Customs. Something is being built in this sector of Lundway with a giant steampunk crane helping the workers to get the work done. Our heligliders are gliding around this construction site and into an elevator. That's right, I took a page out of Winge's book and used an elevator instead of a traditional lift hill. Well, in theory, of course, because we don't have those in the game, so when I say elevator, I really mean that I've made an impossible lift hill disguised as an elevator. But to make it more believable, I've made an entire elevator shaft complete with its mechanism and emergency exits, and from the outside it looks like an awesome factory. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Continuing towards our station, we get our final stop before boarding, the Calibrator. This is a place where the heligliders will be calibrated to their pilots using this here contraption. Remember, with steampunk it's one thing to put pipes and gears everywhere, but it looks better if it all has a purpose. From the outside, this is what the machine looks like, which echoes its function on the inside, which is to calibrate things, I guess? I don't know, I haven't really thought about it that much, I just like the way it looks, okay? Finally, we cross this bridge that I absolutely love to get to the station we explored last episode. Now, before we get to the POV, I wanted to warn you that this is not a finished coaster yet. I still have the second half to do once the Skyfly will be in place in the next episode. That being said, I still wanted to give you an idea of what the coaster feels like before we wrap up this episode, so let's glide away, shall we? And voila!
More than half of our first area is now complete. I'm extremely proud of what I've worked on so far, and I'm so thankful for all of your positive feedback in the comments of the first episode. What did you think of this one? Let me know by leaving a like or a comment, or tell me in my Discord server. We just crossed 100 members and it keeps growing, so join the fun! Also, don't forget to subscribe to join the 2500 legends who can't wait to see the next episode, as the next one will be the last episode in the steampunk city of Longway where we finish this coaster before we move on to another realm. This has been Yen, and I'll see you next time we meet one another in the Marvelous Realms.